Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I am a mommy vlogger. I like to vlog about being in a blended family, taking care of my two kiddos, and now my wedding. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. In today's day in the life, I'm going to be showing you guys some other venues that we've been looking for. Actually, one in particular that we really enjoyed. Um, we went to this venue on Sunday and we went through it and I'm sorry about the videos and the pictures like Anthony did that. For a little bit of backstory, Anthony and I have been together for almost five, five years now and we got engaged while I was pregnant with Ollie so over two years ago and I we still haven't gotten married yet. So I've been talking to my parents and they like promised that they would pay for the venue and now that we're going for something a little bit more expensive it's starting to like put a damper on them paying it. Not because they're poor, it's just that they just bought a house and they're trying to like, you know, remodel it and do stuff of their own. So I'm not uh, going to completely rely on them to pay for everything for my wedding, only because it's my wedding. Uh, so we, Anthony and I just talked about it this morning, uh, just because this venue in particular is more expensive than what we originally planned. The hall we had was only like $1,800 for the hall and then we have to pay for like everything separately like we would have to bring in catering and flowers and a bartender all the alcohol everything else it was literally just the hall was included in that so we're looking at another one it's in delaware so it's about an hour away it includes a lot more with the package so i will break everything down <laughs> so you guys can actually see the numbers because I did say in my last video that I would include numbers just so everybody who is watching for like small weddings that they have like a price range or a budget that they understand like a lot of things could be involved and it could be more pricey or you could do the other route of doing everything yourself and finding which vendors will be in your budget. So this haul doesn't have October available. Our original date was October 16th, 2021. So we're supposed to get married next year. This haul that I'm about to show you does not have the date available. They have November, a Saturday in November available, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. That's the only one in November and then they're not booked December through March, which is their off season. So I am still want my fall wedding and I'm not sure if November of next year will be okay for us. I am still set on my October wedding. I really want an October wedding. So we're thinking of pushing it another year. So we wouldn't get married until 2022, which kind of puts like a damper on our plans because I still want a baby. I <laughs> just, we wanted to push it a year for the wedding but now we might have to push it too. So uh, we've decided that we're most definitely gonna push the wedding as long as they have our date available. So if they don't have our date available, we're probably just gonna stick to the November of next year, but we'll just see if they have October available for 2022. So as I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this place and also go through like all of the numbers while we're walking through it. So let's just get to that. Based off an October wedding, this venue retails for $2,500 for the rental fees, and then for an outdoor ceremony, it costs about $1,500 with a minimum of 100 people for a Saturday wedding. This reception includes a five-hour reception, premium open bar, cocktail hour, professional planning coordinator, napkins and linens in 60 different colors, round tables and dark walnut chairs, custom floral centerpieces with accessories, complimentary night at hotel with breakfast discounts for wedding guests and the shuttle service wedding cake and desserts separate dressing rooms for bride and groom coffee station free private parking a large wraparound deck with two outdoor gazebos with bars tasting for wedding couple along with a setup and breakdown of the event with only one wedding per day for the ceremony, it includes a 30 minutes beforehand, white chairs, fresh rose petals, professional coordinator, the dressing rooms, and a one hour rehearsal. 
For the ceremony, they also provide drinks and little hors d'oeuvres for guests when they come. You can set up your signs and ceremony booklets in the front. They also allow you to bring your own decorations. So if I would like to decorate some things and bring in some items of my own, they allow that. They have four acres of land and a smoking section for those who smoke. They have a separate bar section which we're walking into right now and they also have separate sitting rooms for people who don't want to deal with the sound system their sound system is throughout the entire area they allow you to use it with your dj they also have a separate room for your photo booth if you would like that as well they also offer more time if needed all you would have to do is just add that on to your reception time yeah, that's my thing on our wedding. So I might not be as up to date on my wedding as I was because we're pushing it a year. I have a whole extra year to do things. Uh, so we'll just see. <laughs> right now, Ollie is sleeping and Anthony's upstairs doing the bathroom because it's dirty and I don't clean that. Anthony does. So I'm actually going to go eat some lunch and relax for a little bit. And we're probably going to watch like the Legacies and hang out um it is monday if you didn't know uh, anthony's home like i said in my last video today and tomorrow and it's really nice to have him home because i've been you know stressing long days with my son uh so i'm just gonna like have this time with him while he's home and enjoy him so i'll see you in a little bit Remember the day when we started talking We were kids and I knocked down all of your mobiles But you did not seem to mind at all We took our bikes to the lake after school each day And skipped many stones from the beach And one thing you said was listen Okay, so I'm upstairs right now just because I want to talk to you guys and tell you I did email the venue and they told me they have nothing available other than the Saturday after Thanksgiving next year. So like they're pretty much booked non-stop on a Saturday except for that date. So I asked them about 2022 and they're pretty much opened all year other than three dates that have been taken. So I just have to make sure that I have Lily the weekend that we want and we're gonna book it for 2022 so it's gonna push a year so sadly like we're not gonna get married next year but we're gonna get married eventually right so we're just gonna look at dates to make sure that Lily's here and then I'm also going to reach out to the photographer that I really liked to see if they have that date available too because I really want them so obviously it'll be two dates between two dates in October that we will take uh, because Lily is here every other week, so I just want to make sure that he's available for either of those dates and we could just pick from that. So let me get back to emailing and getting that together. Ali is up like you've seen. He just had lunch. He pretty much didn't eat most of it. He ate his chicken nuggets and some of his applesauce. Refused to eat that banana. And he started freaking out and hitting Anthony with a stick. So <laughs> we're working on that. I had to do a couple of chores. Like Anthony's been doing a bulk of it because he thinks I need a break. But I feel bad giving it all to him because he works constantly. So I am going to help him fold some laundry, do mom things, uh, and clean up the bedroom because it's 
honestly a hot mess in here and do that uh, like I said it's a Monday so it's pretty like eh. and it's like eh, outside too it's not even nice out so yeah let's just continue with the day and uh, Lily comes at three o'clock so it should be fun to see her um, I also have a meeting with her teacher tonight to talk about some things because she starts on Wednesday Hi, Lo. How was your weekend? What'd you do? Yeah. All right. Did you miss your sister? <laughs> They're Cheez-Its, but in like funny food. Yeah, they're pretty good. So I got Lily's haircut and we did her first day of school pictures because she starts school with her dad on Wednesday without me so I'll show you guys those pictures real quick and then I have a meeting with the teacher like I told you guys and we um, have Joey over so he's gonna be here for dinner we're gonna have fish and I don't know what else uh, we'll just figure it out along the way uh, but yeah I really just wanted to get Lily's haircut before the start of the school year even though she's like not going to school just wanted to make her feel a little bit better so we cut it all off that's what she wanted uh, she's got another two years to grow it out for the wedding so done I just finished my meeting with the teacher. Joey's over there playing Call of Duty, I think. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new video. Bye, guys.